Rodney Shakespeare is a professor of binary economics who joins us uh, from London. Rodney Shakespeare, so uh, this is termed as a uh, U-turn by the U.S. president in the way that he is dealing with the coronavirus pandemic around the world in which he has called for a national emergency. Do you look at it as a U-turn? Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a U-turn which won't work. You see, if you listen to the announcement uh, yesterday, one of the goons around President Trump referred to the private health system as being the solution to the coronavirus crisis. Now, in America, the health system costs twice as much per person as compared with the UK or France. Uh, its death rate, uh, people live longer in the UK and France than in the USA. And about 30 million people are not covered. Now, to say that the private health system will address the coronavirus is complete uh, uh, gobbledygook, fantasy land. The great characteristic that you need to address the coronavirus is a unified health system. Uh, indeed, in Europe, it would be preferable if we had unified policy right the way across the board. If there's one situation which will not solve the American coronavirus situation, it's the existence of that corrupt, chaotic, uh, totally unfair, highly costly and inefficient American health system. Uh, as regards shutting down the borders, that's Trump who started by saying, oh, it's all a hoax, it doesn't matter, it's just a joke. He is playing the game of America first, so everybody else is fault. The fact of the matter is, the virus is now in the USA, and the situation is going to expose the inadequacy, the total inadequacy of the American health system, the total inadequacy of American politics, and it can't expose the total inadequacy of President Trump because that's been exposed already. Uh, do you think that the measures taken uh, by the Trump administration as a whole, including the Fed, which um, is going to involve one and a half trillion dollars, it is said, of uh, some kind of relief where Trump does not like to use the B word, which is a bailout, plus uh, the interest rate cut, which one has been uh, exercised already, will help uh, with turning things around there? Now, you are raising the issue of the black swan, which is the coronavirus, the unexpected event, which is coming to being on top of a crumbling situation. Uh, I won't go into the detail of this except to say I do not think that what they propose in bailout measures will now stop what is going to be a very, very considerable downturn on a scale worse than 2008. You're going to see the overall American economic structure and policies uh, are going to be exposed as extremes of rich and poor, uh, always putting up the debt for the benefit of the global bankers and not for the ordinary people and, and all these things. And on top of that, you're going to see a situation which will ex totally expose the inadequacy of the American health system, which is not a health system at all. It's a way of locking on to the mass of the population and shifting up wealth to a tiny percentage of the population. That's what's going along. And I think that is now going to be exposed for what it is, corruption. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. Rodney Shakespeare, Professor of Binary Economics there from London. Many thanks.